for the personalities you just want to support. Yeah. Yeah, for Jack Cloud, you would still be enter, able to enter the other days of the ladder for sure. Yeah, you can enter every day if you'd like. Yeah, you can. Even if you fail today, you can try tomorrow and the next five days. It's five days of ladders, man, with a $725 prize pool. There's that, there's a reason why we're seeing Sharp and Jay Mafia out here alongside players like Emperor Gabriel. And Sharp is going to be going the Joker. Okay, so Sharp's sticking with Joker. I think Sharp was using Joker in a round one of top eight as well. So but looks like both, both players sticking to the characters that they were using earlier in tournament. No surprise. But here we go. Jay Mafia making a great showing of how busted Yoshi's up air really is. Like, yeah. dang, Yoshi got some good aerials. Who thought this was okay? <laughs> okay, up till into up air for a great bread and butter from Jay Mafia. And there we go, the ground pound, mixing it up with a little, yeah, with a little bit of Jay Mafia flair. Arsen, J Mafia playing very close quarters trying to box out from these out of shield options, burning a little bit of that Arsen meter, even retreating to ledge. Here we go again, retreating to the sky. Playing this close quarters again. Very interesting. Looks like he does want to get these safe hits on too sharp before uh, before Arsen was able to run out. Of course, every time you do hit Arsen or hit Joker while Arsen is out, it does burn up a little bit of the meter. Yeah. Uh, not only in the launch, but just in the initial hit. Here we go. Back throw. Nice. Able to get the second hit of the back throw, but not enough, though. Unfortunately, J Mafia will be landing with a hard forward air, sending Sharp out of the depths and keeping J Mafia on this three stock lead. Yeah, we see some more of those J Mafia emotes, but Sharp is able to clean up the stock. J Mafia is still up a full stock, though. And if he continues to play this, like, out of shield heavy uh, style that he has against Sharp, I think Sharp's gonna have, be in a lot of difficult, a lot of trouble, unless he starts uh, committing to grabs a lot more. We're not yeah. really seeing too many grabs. He hasn't been able to go through him, but I do respect it from Sharp because if he does get a whiff on grab, specifically against Yoshi, he will get hit with Nair, and there's a lot of things Yoshi can do if you don't tech, or honestly, just from a raw Nair at earlier percents. I mean, he might as well. He has to like. He has to use it, though. That's the thing. At this point, he's shown J Mafia that he does not want to commit to sh to grabbing even when J Mafia is in shield, and that's a huge tell. Yeah. Like you have to throw out the option. There we go. Use the grab. Get the up throw up air. Now J Mafia gonna be a little bit more, a little bit more afraid to hold the R button. Honestly, J Mafia though doing an excellent job, just kind of maneuvering around Sharp at this point, because even if he's not holding shield, it's the way that he's able to move around. And Yoshi's Nairs have are pretty big hitboxes, but they're very committal. So for Sharp, he's gonna have to look for some sort of whip punish or to punish the end lag in general on Yoshi. But just look at the look at the mileage that Sharp was able to get from that Arsene compared to his first one. J Mafia yeah. pretty much that in shield, Nared out of shield, and rinsed and repeated until the the uh, the meter was gone. This time he was able to put up massive damage, almost get the stock, and then force J Mafia to actually nair earlier out of shield once Sharp was approaching. That's huge change in gameplay that Sharp can account for and then punish. And then, oh. I mean, that's that's what's going to win him game two. Because he, he didn't win game one. Yeah, uh, J Mafia pretty much showing off that, you know, he doesn't even need me, Brawler, at times. He could definitely do this with Yoshi. And honestly, he's showing a lot of the strength with the character. Uh, Sharp, like you said, Z-Fly, you might have to adjust his game plan a little bit because... He wasn't going for, like you said, he wasn't going for a grab a lot when he should. When he should be looking to get some of those burst options that you would normally see Joker with. He was kind of respecting J Mafia a lot on the shield. Yeah, he just gave him too much freedom and respect when it comes to, like, having the shield up. Like, yes, Yoshi has great shield options. So maybe instead of nairing uh, to approach and, like, getting a safe nair on shield, just do an empty hop and go for a tomahawk. Get that tomahawk grab. Get the down throw or the up throw and force your opponent to maybe 
respect your approach a little bit more instead of just sitting in shield. Yeah. All right, we'll see how game two treats Sharp a little bit differently and what he's adapted from game one. But will Jay Mafia continue this really, I was going to say, almost domination that he had on Sharp in the first game with a two-stock lead that he was able to get out of. So we'll see how things go. And there's another approach with Nair. Um, Sharp was able to, to get it down to a lot of it this time, though. Here we go. Getting those grabs. That's what I want to see. And then, yes, just shoot up the Yoshi. Give him the pop pops. Shield, that is not a safe place for you anymore. Oh, it gets the drag down, but the execution is really difficult on Wi-Fi. Arsene activated in the nick of time. Sharp able to come on stage before J Muffet even gets the chance on the edge guard. Mm -hmm. Look at this, sitting in shield. Just blow it up. Give him, give him grab him. <laughs> I was going to say, like, the one character that isn't prone to getting shield poked in general compared to most characters is Yoshi, just because the egg actually covers the whole body at all times. And mm -hmm. also, I feel like Yoshi's shield is probably the strongest in the game compared to the rest of the cast. But nonetheless, Ooh. Tetrakarn is a really good way to stop Yoshi's aggression on that up air. Yeah, that's right. Arsene is gone for now, but 87%. I don't think... Sharp is going to be able to build up enough meter to get a second arson unless uh, J Mafia is really just continues to tack on damage with like small hits. But I don't know. Yoshi just has. I feel like Yoshi hits too hard for what this cute little animal should be. And uh, I'm sure by the time we see Sharp reach about 130%, that the stock will disappear. Boom, yeah. 129. All right, 130%. Let's see if that stock's going to go. Right. A little bit of shield pressure. Up smash. Okay, J Mafia is swinging. Yeah, he's looking for that 130% to turn into zero and into two stocks. Finally, the back air will stop Joker and J Mafia. Even though he doesn't have the lead like we saw game one, he's looking to slowly even things up between him and Sharp. That's right. And with that 88%, you know, Sharp was actually very close to getting that second arsen which would have been horrendous for j mafia because then he would have had to play even safer and then i mean you're you're playing a different game at that point but yeah. sharp still a 38 percent j mafia 131 arsen is almost out and you know j mafia is just trying to put a lot more percent before arsen comes out put j sharp off stage put him in a bad situation unfortunately for j mafia not able to and now here we go it's the arsen time it's arsen's game yeah Look at the way that he's going for these short hops, these empty hops in general, to mix things up. He pretty much was letting J Mafia know, I'm going to go for the back air, when in reality, the real mix up here is getting him with the forward tilt at the ledge, seeing that J Mafia did not want to get hit by back air or go for an area out of shield. Yeah, and again, then, it's that shield pressure, making sure that your opponent isn't just safe or isn't comfortable just holding the R button. Because if we saw earlier J Mafia holding the R button, and when Sharp was going for back airs, guess what? Nothing happened. He yeah. just shielded the damage, jumped off the stage, just let the uh, shield health regenerate, and then rinse repeat. This time, mixed it up, made sure his opponent wasn't safe in shield, and there you go. Now you got the lead. Ooh, there we go. Now we're, now we're starting to see those big plays come out, those random buttons. All right, look at the way that Sharp is still looking to continue to hold the center stage. He knows percents are even, but you should never let up on the pressure as he punishes the landing on Jay Mafia and puts it to 1-1 apiece, setting himself nicely for game three. <laughs> That's right. Sharp able to uh, bring it to a game three after some great adjustment on his part and definitely putting a little bit more pressure on Jay Mafia. Are we going to see the brawler? Uh, we'll see, man. Well, he is going to. Oh, oh he's going back. Yeah, he's going, going back. back. Are you, are you going to call it? Is, is it just going to be stage or is it? Might be stage. Is it, is it the brawler? I, the is it the brawler? He, oh, no, I said the brawler. Okay, it's not brawler. Not brawler. Okay, so what is the stage? Because there's obvi obvious stage switch here. It's going to be Kalos. That seemed to be our pick for game three most of the time. But no, it is in fact Smashville. And with as evasive that J Mafia likes to be at points, I can understand why he wants to pick a stage like 
uh, Smashville. It does give him a lot of room to use his second jump and a sort of retreat to a, a quote, safer area um, where really he can either mix up his opponent or even take a moment to himself to really reflect and see like what does he need to do. A yeah. Great down throw into out there. Arsene is out. Oh. Horrible place to land. Yeah, good for Shard to honestly punish the landing. That's the thing about Smashville in general. You had that center platform combos and all that with certain characters, of course. But that center platform remains static, and it could be really good for Yoshi if they try to go for a landing where they go for the Yoshi down B. But in this case, Sharp was going to stop all that opportunities as he sees the oh landing my. on the platform. And normally, you need to be careful when you land towards center stage because you do risk getting juggled by characters or losing stocks like the way he did. Yeah, I mean, especially landing right on top of your opponent who has a great up smash like we saw. But getting the drag down up air into down smash, we saw Sharp go for that in game one. He wasn't able to do it. But guess what? He tried it again. And Sharp with all the momentum here in game three. Yeah, right, Sharp nares, definitely up, bringing things nares. back. More nares. Here we go. There's the forward there. J Mafia starting to fight back. And there's the panic button coming from J-Mafia. You notice that whenever J-Mafia starts to feel a little bit pressured and feels like, I need to land a hit on my opponent, he goes for the the, the down B and then it will up smash immediately after. He's done yeah. that like three times already. I do like the fact that Sharp is using Joker's superior movement. Honestly, one of the best movements in the game. And he's using that to get dash dances, moving in and out of Yoshi's range, looking to get whiff punishes. Because like you said, if J-Mafia is going to, for something very strong, Sharp can be in the position to punish it like he is when he sees J Mafia in the air. And he's going to put this 2 1 1 into 2 1 as Sharp moves on into winner's finals against Epic Gabriel. That's right. J Mafia had a great showing. I honestly wish we could have shown the. Uh...